What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel Pamela Janani Earth Goddess. What is your vibe? So my beautiful people, Earth Angels. Earth Angels are absolutely amazing, okay? They bring a lot of peace, clarity, and positivity to God's world, okay? And a lot of the times, you know, on this spiritual journey, you may question yourself, am I a Earth Angel, right? And I am here to give you guys um, some information, clarity, if um, I can, to let you know or question whether or not you are an earth angel, okay? Now, a lot of the times you will just naturally know that you are different, that you are you're, what you're bringing to the table. And if you can resonate with a lot of what I'm saying, definitely, you know, you could or are an earth angel, okay? So let's tap into it, all right? So earth angels, so what do we embody here, okay? Um, when you're an earth angel, you don't need to be rewarded for your kindness, okay? So a lot of the times, if you notice in your life, people will do things for you and then they will throw it up in your face later. Oh, well, I did this for you. I did this. You know, we don't do that, okay? As spiritual people and earth angels, you do not do and throw things. You don't do things in order to get rewarded for it. You do things because you love a person, because you love um, you know, that charity, okay? You're, you're not trying to gain anything from anybody or something, okay? Um, so yeah, you don't want to be rewarded for your kindness. We prefer not to be rewarded, but inspire others. So for me, guys, it's for me, I don't need to be rewarded for, for, for being a good person, for being a loving, for being a good mom. I don't need a reward. It's my job. It's what I like to do. And it's why I'm here. Okay. Um, and we just want to inspire people. We just want to lead people to God's, you know, to be better. You know what I mean? And to live for God, to be obedient. Um, we truly love people and love sharing it, sharing what we have to give to the world. We love people. We are people, people. And that, and that sounds funny, but we love people. I love being around people. I love making people smile. I could be out anywhere and i will say hello how are you no shame no guilt just out i don't even have to know you i, I haven't seen you a day in my life but i want to share my love with you and i don't care even if we're going through a storm we still want to share kindness to other people okay this is a, definitely one thing that we possess as earth angels we are loving and supernatural it's a supernatural gift okay it's something that everybody can't do a lot of people want to just love you because they can get something from you we don't do that, okay? We just love and we just want to share that love with you, all right? Um, we can't watch the news a lot. We don't like gossip. We do not watch the news. Yes, do we need to stay up on the, the world and its craziness? Absolutely. But I refuse. I haven't watched the news in probably over two years. I do not watch the news. I, I can still get my information about the world and what's happening through other platforms or through people, okay? But we do not like gossip either. I don't like it when people call me and they wanna talk about somebody. I don't like it, okay? I don't like one, talking about or putting someone else down. Two, I don't want that negative energy because no matter how positive you are, when someone is coming at you and they're bringing you negative energy, especially as chosen ones and earth angels, your heart is already sensitive because you are compassionate more than the next. So no, we do not like gossip or we do not watch the news really, okay? We truly know that we have a purpose and we have an urge to contribute to the world, okay? That's something that we have and we embody a lot. We just wanna make the world a better place, okay? Um, we just wanna help people. People always come to me for advice. I am very wise. I've always been wise beyond my years. I don't care how old you are. You can come to me for advice and I can give you the tea, okay? I can give you what you need to hear and I can do it in a graceful way, okay? Um, we spread love to random people, as I said before. Hi, how are you? Have a good day. I do this all the time. And no matter what their reply is, because some are just bitchy and some are like, oh my gosh, thank you. It doesn't matter what their reply is. It will not affect me. Okay, and this is how you know you're an earth angel. You don't let other people's energy consume you, okay? Um, not all are accepting, but don't um, like our energy, okay? And we are okay with that, okay? If you don't like me, okay. I've always been this way when I was a little girl, okay? You don't like me, okay. I didn't understand back then, but and of course it kind of hurt my feelings, but I never still got angry at a person because of how they treated me or they didn't like me. I just you know, it hurt and it stung and I moved on. All right. Um, we are wise. We give advice to others. 
We see the positive in everything, okay? We see the positive in a lot more than not, okay? Because that is just what God has put inside of us, okay? We are here to nurture, care, and love on people, okay? So we do. I see the positive in, in everything, okay? I said in another video, I had a situation today that I could have um, been like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. But instead, I was like, okay, hmm, and I made it happen. I worked it out. It's all good. If I was to just sit and, and, and be upset about it and ponder why, 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 I would have never accomplished anything. But I accomplished something and I was proud of myself. And God told me, I'm proud of you. And when we have moments like that, whether you're a spiritual earth angel chosen or not, when we have moments where we can either be mad at God or we can be thankful, God is watching. And when we choose to be grateful, that is when God is going to say, okay, you're ready for the next level, okay? chosen earth angel or not okay we all go through god's test um we are not judgmental we're open-minded we do not judge we're open-minded we do not judge once again we are open-minded okay we're sensitive but we are brave we are a power pack okay i'm sensitive yes now am i sensitive as i was before absolutely not i'm stronger than i've ever been in my entire life and it's because i have ascended into this beautiful woman who is living out her purpose now solely for god okay um, we prefer the traditional way, all right? Meaning in sex, dating, okay? Morals, how we move. We prefer being traditional, okay? Um, for me, at least, okay? And a lot of people that I know, I prefer the traditional way. I prefer courting. I prefer flowers, door opening. I prefer all of that, okay? And it is something that as a chosen one now and at me at this moment, I will make sure that whomever it is that I end up with, okay, they will know that you need to open my door no matter it's a car door or it's a, a door at the store. I want flop. I want to be courted. Um, people need to understand that there is roles, okay? And yes, money comes into play. You know, you have people who are working. Me, I'm a boss, okay? I'm an entrepreneur. I am and will be more successful than I could ever imagine. And that's owning companies. That's doing charity work. That's contributing to the world in, in one way or another, okay? This is me. But I also know that I will have to play the woman role as I am to my husband, to my partner. And I have nothing, I have no problem with that. Cooking, cleaning, being that woman that holds down the house is me. And I'm also expecting my man to be that man that holds down the household, okay? Power couple status, okay? This is what I possess, this is what I embody, and this is what I'm encouraging all of you guys, man or woman, to know that you have to have high standards when you do um, want to date and be in the relationship. Go the traditional um, value way. Not saying marry someone or get engaged when you don't know them. Absolutely not. No, not doing it. You can't just do that these days. People used to just say, okay, I'm just going to date you for three months and then I'm going to say, I'm going to marry you. Mm, you're a fool, okay? Sorry to say I'm blunt, I'm honest. Gracefully, you're a fool. People are out here trying to get money. They're trying to get come ups. No, you can't just trust anybody. Even though I trust God to give me my ordained person, I am not just going to trust everybody and what they say. I need to see actions, okay? Um, we don't fit in, all right? We do not fit in, never did fit in, and we will never fit in, okay? And even amongst my beautiful chosen and spiritual people, we all know that we don't fit in, okay? And that's a beautiful thing now. I am so happy that I don't fit into the world. I'm so thrilled that I don't look like I fit into the world. Happy about it. I fit into God's kingdom, okay? Um, we don't chase money, fame, sex, lust, or greed. We don't chase any of that. Don't need to, okay? Never had the urge in my body to chase sex, money, or anything like that. We don't do that. Earth angels do not do that. Now, if you if you do these things that I'm telling you that we don't do, that is fine, okay? You're on your own path, and you may not be an earth angel, okay? And that's absolutely fine. That is why I am here, and people who are chosen in earth angels are here to inspire you to not change, but to be better than you were yesterday. I need to be better than I was yesterday. I'm not perfect, okay? Chosen ones, earth angels, we're not perfect. We got a lot of lessons that we learned to make us this way, okay? So love and light to you guys, all right? Everybody, um, we don't chase love. We chase purpose, okay? Um, the wealth, love, and more automatically follows us when we are obedient to God, all right? So this is for everybody. When you are obedient to God and he sees that, okay, you will be rewarded, okay? You will be rewarded just because you may not have a lot of money right now. You don't have that nice car. You don't have that purse. You don't have the shoes. You don't have your home. You don't own your home. You don't own, it doesn't matter, 
when you start to walk with God for real, for real, not jokingly saying, I'm going to go to church every, every Sunday. I'm going to put on my Sunday best. I'm going to go to church. It's Christmas. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No, you got to do this every single day. You got to pray. You got to be obedient. You got to have faith. You got to live with morals and not live by the world. And that is when God is going to pour into your cup, not the devil. The devil, like I said before, he will pour into your cup, overflow it even. But it can all be ripped away and it's all coming from a demonic place. But when God pours into your cup, everything that you, that he gives you is yours forever, okay? And you get more and you get more and you get more. Be good. People like to say nice guys finish last. I'm here to say they do not. I've always been a nice girl, a nice woman. And sometimes I did think, well, they do. I see all of these people out here, these women, for me, from what I saw, I saw all these women out here who were having sex on the first day, who were giving BJs on the first day, and they're, they got married. Really quickly, they got married, right? And I thought to myself, well, hey, well, why, why are they getting married so fast? And I, and, but no, I'm happy who I am. I don't have to do those things, okay? Because I wouldn't be me if I wasn't doing, not doing those things. I wouldn't be me. I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm happy where I am today. I've had delays. I've had detours, but I'm not having them anymore. And I'm now with the mind, my mind is full of clarity now. The only person that I need to please is God himself and his son. The only people that I need to please is God and his son. And then after that, I'm pleasing myself. I'm pleasing my children. I'm pleasing my husband. And that is it. I'm not living for my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, Uncle Joe. Nobody but those people, okay? Because those people are what truly matters, all right? So that is it for this video, guys. It got deeper than I wanted or expected, but that's the kind of woman I am. I'm a deep person. I'm passionate about God and about life, okay? And I love you guys wholeheartedly, okay? So with that being said, if you can resonate with any of these, then honey you may be an earth angel, okay, chosen one. As for me being a chosen one, these things is what we embody as well. Um, as I said before, God told me I was the chosen one. But if you feel these things within you, God will eventually tell you who you are as well, okay? Or you may already know it before he gets there to you, okay? But stay in faith and love yourself and most importantly, put God first, okay? So if you're watching and you're a first fellow earth angel, if you're watching and you're spiritual, you're chosen one, I love you, I support you. This journey may have been a little bit of rough in the beginning for you, but it gets better, I promise you, okay? So love and light, 2 to 2 on the clock as I said that. Love and like, be sure to subscribe to my channel, support me on this journey, give me a thumbs up, please. Okay, so that this content can get out to all of us who needs it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.